I tell you, Frank Lampard's press conference was one of the most interesting to date, I'm not exaggerating. And when I tell you there is fantastic feel-good story in this video and great news coming your way, hold tight. Welcome to the Kafka's View and I'm not going to lie to you, today's video I've been gassed to make. I've been super, super excited to make. Frank Lampard's press conference yesterday was fantastic. He speaks about Kai Havertz, Timo Werner, and how he believes that they should be positioned. A great insight into his brain. We brings you fantastic news regarding Hakim Zayesh and Hylam hudson Adoy. And there's one more piece of news that I'm not gonna lie, that we're gonna kick off with right now. It's just made me smile. And he deserves this, this lad, and I'm gonna give him a little segment because he's been so hard done by. All I ask from you guys is a simple like. Honestly, it goes a long way. You don't understand how important it is. One, it keeps me energized. Two, YouTube starts being my friend and starts pushing my videos. And three, it shows me what I'm giving you guys. You guys are eating up with a smile on your face. And that's important to me. I want my content to be good. I don't want my content to get views, but no retention, no enjoyment for people. I make this because I love Chelsea and I love talking about Chelsea. And I like talking to members of the Chelsea community. As fans, we're all members of the community. So help a brother out, hit the like button and let's go. The feel good story is fantastic. Charlie Masunda is back in training. Guys, if you don't know about Charlie Masunda, he has been a Chelsea youth player that was meant to be the next Eden Hazard. Phenomenal talent, both footed, very comfortable ball, dribbles with ease. Honestly, Eden Hazard-esque, low centre of gravity, incredibly nippy, and he's got a great right foot. I'm not going to lie to you, like, that right foot is beautiful. Yet, Charlie Masunda's career almost ended. 15 months out with a knee injury to the point where they said he had a 20% chance of playing football again. If that's not a feel-good story, then I don't know what it is. He's back at Chelsea, as you can see over here. And this makes me very happy. This makes me smile. This makes me ecstatic because with the current injury problems we have, if Charlie Masunda's in and around the squad around about February time, he might get an opportunity and how great will that be for him? Because the talent is there. For him now, it's about reaping the rewards from his hard work through all that rehabilitation. So just for Charlie Masunda, one love, guys. Hit that like button. Support his course. Frank Lampard bopped into the press conference the way he is. All cheeky and chappy. Good, eloquent answers. And first question comes out. News updates. Well, the updates are simple. Hakim Zayesh and Callum hudson Doi are both back into training. hudson Doi put this tweet out, and it's basically saying he's ready to play. Frank Lampard, though, has said, look, there are no updates. We need to, like, wait and patiently assess the players. And I'm not going to lie to you, I think this is a smart thing to do. You need to assess them. Don't rush him back. The last thing we need is a, like, relapse, I think is the word, a relapse of the injury. We don't need that. Take your time. There's a lot of games coming up. We're going to need these players. So play Pulisic again if needed and then bring him in next week. I don't know if you guys know, but the Premier League teams voted again on the five subs rule. And once again, they voted against it. Frank Lampard's statement is very interesting. He said for the welfare of the players, the decision should have been the other way around. But there's no point talking about it now because it's already happened. I think he's spot on here. The Christmas period is going to be a difficult one. And I'm not going to lie to you. The options of five subs is so important. Yes, some teams won't even use it. That's the word thing. Like, Klopp's been complaining so much and made no subs against Spurs. Like, when you actually deep it, it's crazy. It was either no or one sub. I'm not mistaken, like, if I'm not mistaken. So, for me, whilst the decision is a big one, we need to make, like, not overreact and move on with this now. You can't change it. They asked him, does it mean a lot to play against West Ham, being his former club? Well, he said when, it, when he was a player, it 100% did. And I'm not going to lie to you, we could tell it did, Frank. The way he used to play, it definitely showed. But as a manager, it doesn't matter. For him, it's the next game. And after two defeats, it's important to get back to winning ways. And I don't think he could have put it any better. Bro, we need to win this game. No draws, no ifs, no buts, no babies, nothing. Ready, shmeddy, whatever in it. We need to win this game. Get your asses on to 
Bring your A game. We need to beat West Ham. No excuses. We can't drop the points three games in a row. They asked Frank Lampard the inevitable question regarding Declan Rice. Declan Rice was a Chelsea player in the past and they said you regret Chelsea letting him go. Well, obviously they do. They're going to spend 70 million to get him back. And Frank said exactly that. He said, look, he's a fantastic player. He is blah, 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 blah. Great player, da, 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 da. He reaped all the rewards you wanted to hear. Look, Frank likes him and Frank sees a future for this guy at Chelsea. If Frank's the manager for the foreseeable future, it's going to happen. It's as simple as this. We need to just get behind the player when he comes. Do I want him? No. Am I going to get behind him? Hell yeah, I always do. Until the player lets me down, I am very pro the player. So, yeah, it happens. You let good players go, move to the next one. Frank Lampard was asked about Timo Werner's position today. And I'm not going to lie, the journalists grew a pair today. Because this isn't normally the type of questions they ask. And Frank said, look, for Leipzig in Germany, he plays in all different roles. He can play across all front three positions. Bruh. I need to ask you a lot of questions. Am I just stupid about football? Like, I don't understand it. But it doesn't look like Werner can play left wing and right wing. He can play an iteration of it where he's closer as an inside forward and he's almost a second striker. But he's not a winger. He's not a left winger or a right winger. Right winger, left winger. That's my right. Yeah. But you know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to lie to you, lot. Like, I don't see what Frank sees there. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Frank Lampard knows how to protect the players he likes. And he protected Kai Havertz like it was his son today. Honestly, he said it so well. Look, Kai Havertz was ill for a long period of time. He had no preseason, And yet, with a big price tag on his shoulders, people expect him to close and destroy the world. What do you guys think from this guy is going to happen? This guy is a phenomenal talent. And we need to put some respect on his name. And this is what Frank said. At the end of the day, this talent is going to develop and be nurtured into one of the greatest players in the game. So can we just give him time, please? Honestly, don't put the pressure. Go back and watch my old videos. I told you guys, it was surplus to requirement. So once you get that surplus to requirement of a player, let him develop. No need to rush him in. If he doesn't play for the first next, like three, four weeks and just comes off the bench, it's fine. He was asked about Christian Pulisic as well. And this was hella interesting. I'm not going to lie, yeah? Let me get this straight, fam. So he answers... I've got Hakim who could play on the right. But I've got Timo and Pulisic who could play both sides. Big man, where are you getting this from? Well, what? What? Fam, he should be playing left-hand side. You play your best players on the left-hand side. Please, play. Finally, Frank was asked about mental toughness from Timo Werner after not scoring in eight games. And he said something really interesting. He said he's super strong in mental toughness and he's a goal scorer. And I'm going to add to this, right? Timo's been doing this his whole career. He's been missing sitters for years. Go back and look at his Leipzig full games. Not highlights, full games. He missed his chances on a regular basis. I will start worrying when the chances don't come. That's when I'm going to start worrying. But the chances are going to come and I'm not going to lie to you. Don't be surprised if he gets 25 league goals this year. Or maybe 20 league goals. Because this guy is a goal scorer. He will get goals in abundance. He can get three or four in one game. Because of the number of chances that he generates just by his sheer movement. But this was the Gaff Gazu. And I'm not going to lie to you guys. That was the press conference. The press conference was hella interesting today. If you didn't find that interesting, I don't know what you guys are thinking. But guys, I don't know whether you guys want the predicted XL. Please tell me in the... Comments below. Do you want me to make a spare video? Maybe on a Sunday or maybe even on a Saturday. Look, I, I'm even considering maybe going on a live stream. Would you guys like to see that? Sunday, 8 o'clock UK time. Maybe I'll do a live stream. Look, in the comments below, let me know. And we can try to hook it up. Just a match preview. Something different, you know. I want to give you guys some more content. I want to see how you guys react to it. I feel like my channel's growing nicely. And I'm enjoying doing this. I'm not going to lie. It's something... I take it takes time out of my day and my real life where I just like giving you guys content. I like to talk about football. Well, all I ask from you guys is a simple like. Honestly, it goes a long way. You don't understand how important it is. One, it keeps me energized. Two, YouTube starts being my friend and starts pushing my videos. And three, it shows me what I'm giving you guys. You guys are eating up with a smile on your face. And that's important to me. I want my content to be good. I don't want my content to get 
views, but no retention, no enjoyment for people. I make this because I love Chelsea and I love talking about Chelsea. And I like talking to members of the Chelsea community. As fans, we're all members of the community. So help a brother out, hit the like button and let's go. But all jokes aside, guys, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I'm out. Peace out. Bye. Have a great evening. Peace out.